Another long cut was made down his chest and belly as he cried out from the pain. His screams only seemed to make things worse on himself, better for his tormentor. The clawed nails sliced easily through his flesh indeed, a knife through butter. He clenched his fists, bound on either side of his wrists. He gritted his teeth. He tried kicking in a futile gesture of defiance. As his ankles were bound just as his wrists were, his captor held up to him bits of flesh that had been raked away by the clawed hand. It dangled and flapped precariously as it was shaken before his gaze. Pink and red tattered skin, strips that still dripped crimson, it smiled a hideous mockery of humor and delight. The giant X that he was tied to leaned against a wall that writhed and moaned with sickening slick sounds behind him. Now and again he could feel something wet and warm barely graze the exposed skin of his back. And each time it did, he reacted with disgust, further amusing the beast before him. It slid a clawed finger beneath the skin of his chest and began to rake and shred the muscle therein. As much as he winced, cringed, and bowed away from the pain, he would not give this monster the further satisfaction of his cries, but the pain. The pain was unbearable. He tried to think of better things, better places, better times, but each fond memory was replaced by the sickening wet sound of tearing flesh and dropping glops of blood. Heated streams of the crimson liquid ran in rivulets down his chest, but he held his cries within. He could hear screams and cries all around him, men and women that apparently earned the same fate as him, suffering their punishments. He could even see a few of them. One, a beautiful twenty-something woman with long, silky, jet-black hair, a firm, beautiful body and fair complexion. She was gorgeous. And apparently, the demons surrounding her thought the same. He turned his attention from her, unable to watch. He looked down at his chest where uneven and shredded slabs of meat hung freely from the open wound ripped wide by the evil that stood joyously tearing him apart. He spit at it and immediately regretted the decision. The monster punched its massive fist into the open wound of his gut and tore out his intestines, holding them in its fist, jiggling and dangling like rubbery pink sausage before throwing them to the hounds behind him. He couldn't take any more. He screamed. The beast laughed. For a good long time it laughed. He didn't mind this, for even those few moments of laughter brought him a slight reprieve of the pain, and after a moment, it punched its hand back inside and shoved its clawed fingers upward beneath his ribs and taking hold of his beating heart, Lucifer then leaned in and asked quietly, Was it worth it?